Global 2673 Booth Tracking A System. It's populated as an air contact. SCO confirms it is a surface contact. It says hangar. So my time as an RO was uh, pretty exciting. Uh, the ship was just coming through its Halifax class modernization. Austin Watch RO, bring the ship to action stations. Action stations, action stations. It was kind of exciting to see this new technology being introduced. State of the art, and you're basically at the forefront of that as an RO. And your job really is quite important because you are the captain's warfare advisor. You have to take in multiple inputs, often in a very dynamic environment, and provide a recommendation to the captain about uh, warfare reaction of the ship. The best thing about the job is there is no day that looks the same. In fact, you know, each watch you, you could be shooting missiles or executing boat transfers. You know, very dynamic occupation. Action stations, action stations. Um, in the Navy, you know, we live and die by the flex. So the Oro really owns that and makes sure that we can accomplish what we need to accomplish in a day. Uh, so we start off with some intro to the CAF's operational planning process. We get into a bit of managing the ship's program. Then we transition into peacetime weapons firing, so safety being the primary focus. Finally, we get into tactics, so we work through individual areas of warfare. And then the end sort of assessments are bringing that all together for multi-threat warfare. I trained as first as a deck officer and then as a naval tactical operations group. So we deal uh, with the technical manipulation of the ship's weapon systems. And we learn management of uh, personnel on board through various teams and departments on the ship. I finished my operations room officer course in August of 2019 and uh, joined the ship in uh, January of 2020 and started uh, sailing in uh, August of 2020. As an ORO, the most challenging part uh, would be to defend the ships at a moment's notice. You are responsible to defend the ship at all times. This becomes particularly challenging when operating in a dangerous area of the world. Managing this aspect for an ORO is very hard and uh, was probably the thing that I struggled with the most. The biggest challenge for me was learning the uh, various weapon systems on the ship and the precise manipulation of them. So I found the biggest differences between the simulator training and being at sea. For the simulator, you're always well rested. You sleep at home every night. Um, it's very short, focused training. Uh, where you're focused on one specific thing. Versus at sea, uh, where right off the bat, you have to deal with any issues with seasickness. You're generally not well rested due to our watch rotation. On top of the warfare training serials, you have to deal with managing the ship's program to include all the other departments and injects from other uh, heads of department and stuff like that. And there's really no way to simulate the stress of having to deal with every member of the ship uh, giving you injects to deal with the ship's program. My favorite part of the course was the later phase of the tactical training. This is Canadian Warship 334. You are approaching my south defense zone. Turn away immediately or your actions may be interpreted as hostile and I will be forced to defend myself. So we start off, we do individual areas of warfare, anti-air warfare. anti-surface warfare, 
and anti-submarine warfare. So we do a few weeks learning the basics of each of those, and then we get into a developmental phase where they're brought together. And then they increase the tempo of the multi-threat towards our final assessments. So once you've brought everything together, it can feel pretty good uh, to go through an assessed run and just be on top of all the threats that you need to defeat and come out with a pass on the other side. My advice to the new ROs that are joining the ships is lean into any opportunities to learn, ask lots of questions, and never forget to have fun.